hey fam <laughs> welcome back to the channel and if you just see my face for the first time hello my name is Iwuma. you're yeah, welcome back to the channel for my OGs, <laughs> my, my returning viewers my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support and thank you for clicking on this video <laughs> now please guys don't forget to subscribe you guys are watching but you're not subscribed eh <laughs> Please subscribe to the channel, share these videos. You know my videos are good. Share my videos and turn on your post notification bell. Yes, that little bell icon there. So that anytime I post, you are the first person to see my video. <laughs> so you guys know how we roll here. So, um, so disclaimer, if you see me looking to my left, baby girl over there. <laughs> and please ignore any background noise you can hear. I'm working on it. So guys, <laughs> this video was requested by my very good friend. <laughs> so OJ, if you are watching this video, this is for you. A few days on Instagram, I came across a post um, about a new bride that actually created a WhatsApp group for her single friends, informing them that she will no longer be friends with them because she was married. <laughs> See, guys. When I saw that post, I was like, eh, it's her audacity for me. <laughs> and so my friend called me and she wanted me to talk about this thing. So here I am talking about it. <laughs> so if you want to hear my opinion about this topic, then keep watching. <laughs> You guys know how we read on the channel before i give my opinion or my two cents about it i'll first throw the question to you so my married friends out there <laughs> why did you ditch your single friends or why did you stop talking to your single friends and my single friends out there please did any of your married friends stop talking to you after marriage like tell me about it in the comment section in fact for this gist we need to share this class into two oh, yeah if you are married come to this side <laughs> and if you are single prango <laughs> guys i'm kidding come to this side <laughs> so now that you've given your opinion about this in the comment section it's time for mine so to talk about this um, topic i'm going to be on the proposing and the opposing side of this gist or of this topic yeah i'm going to be on the proposing and on opposing side of this so i know guys you want to hear my own opinion you want to I want me to answer the question and my answer is no i did not ditch any of my single friends after marriage uh, if there was anybody or any of my friends i no longer talk with as much as before it either happened way before my marriage or if it happened now and um, it has nothing to do with me getting married however keyword however however i did give some distance to my single male friends and most importantly my married male friends so yes i gave my male friends some distance reason is quite obvious respect and barrier and um what else respect um barrier and um what's the word what's the word what's the word i want to use what's the word what's the word boundaries yes boundaries so that was why i did not cut them off we still talk but not just as often as before just boundaries yeah so <laughs> the first reason i think with emphasis on think 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 i think married people or married friend or married women ditch their single friends one more thing guys this topic is more specific to my gender <laughs> yes my gender i'm talking to you people today and that's because um uh, most of the time married men keep their single friends yes even after marriage they hold on to their single friends except in a few cases but it is more common with my few friends or with my gender <laughs> to you know ditch their single friends so the first reason i think this happens is <laughs> they think they have leveled up yes 
So married women believe that they are no longer on the same level as the single friends. They've leveled up, you know, so bye-bye, you're not my level anymore. See, that is a very sick reason. And I've heard it before. I've heard it severally where they say, you know, and we don't enter another level. You know, when you move to another level, see, it doesn't make any sense. You being married does not make you more important than anybody, especially the single ones. The fact that um, a single lady or a single person has not found her spouse or partner or is not ready or is not just yet her time does not make you more important than her. Yes, I said what I said. Society may... <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, what I call this umbrella, be waiting, just perched on my window, sorry. Society may make it seem like you're, you're, you're more responsible or you're more important because they feel like now you're responsible, so, uh, 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 but uh, it does not go past that. You're no more important than your single friends, so please, if you're one of those married women out there that um, ditch their single friends because they think... They are better than them please stop it yes it is not good stop it i don't see why you should see that as any reason to ditch anybody but uh, i've heard it and apparently it's very common the second reason i think married people or married women ditch their single friends is <laughs> this reason eh? i need to laugh because it was very ridiculous see i actually had to do a little research <laughs> On this topic because before coming out here to talk about because apparently it is a controversial topic it is sensitive yeah so the second reason is that they think their single friends want to snatch their husbands mm. if I need to fold hand talk about this one eh? so your single friend did not snatch your husband when you guys were dating or were courting it's not that you have married mm. well for this particular topic or for this particular reason, except it's very obvious or you know in your heart of hearts that this person who you call a friend is really like this, then it's fine to call the person off. Otherwise, if it's just a feeling, you're not sure, please stop it. And if you have to cut off a friend because of your husband, you think your husband will cheat on you, ha. I think you should question your husband's character. Mm. it might sound a little harsh but yes i think you should question your husband's character because i mean there are people that are single out there that are good yes they have good advice or yes or they give good advice they are more responsible than a lot of married folks out there and they are doing well for themselves so please if you belong to the category of women that are ditching their single friends because eh i know me they snatch my husband please stop it you should be more concerned about your husband's character than your friends. This is not saying girls not do my anything. <laughs> the third reason I think married women ditch their single friends is they think they are bad. Uh, this particular reason is very similar to the um, first two reasons I gave. They think their single friends are bad. That is when you hear that, oh, uh, this my friend is stingy. This one too, they talk. Or oh, this one, you just see faults will just keep dropping from the air one after the other. They'll just keep finding faults. Iyawo, my mother married woman. You did not think this your friend was bad when you were giving them the specific style of attribute to sew for your wedding. Mm. You did not think they were bad when you were telling them this is the hairstyle. You must buy this hair of 100k for my wedding. It's now that you are married, you have remembered that they have faults or they have weaknesses, that they gossip too much or um, they beg too much. Stop it now. How about now? Why? <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what to say. Stop giving these single ladies out there bad names. Many of them are very good. The worst part is that when you start encountering some problems in your marriage, you will not run to your fellow married women because um, you probably don't want them to know that things are not as perfect as you make them seem. You run to this your single friends for advice and they, some of them give you very good advice they have there are single friends out there that will tell you to your face that no babe this thing you did is actually bad go and apologize to your husband or no this thing do it do, do it this way or don't do it this way the fact that they are not married does not mean that they don't they, they, they don't have the right to give advice some of them could give very good advice <laughs> sorry i'm missing my words <laughs> to talk noisy 
Now, the fourth reason, or this, in fact, this is my unpopular opinion. It's my own opinion. No. The fourth reason I think married women ditch their single friends is they lived in the streets. In quotes. <laughs> So married women, you know, before they got married, they were in the streets. They were the, they were in the streets. And when I say in the streets, you know what I mean. You know the kind of things some people did before they got married. See, please, I'm not judging anybody. This channel, we don't judge over here. We are here to learn, unlearn, and relearn. So please, don't judge over here. But, you know, some people know that they, were, they lived wrongly before they got married. And so they see marriage as a second chance to, to, to do well or to live right. I know that saying of all things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. So they see they need to cut off, <laughs> cut off these friends with whom or with which they lived this lifestyle with. So <laughs> if you are among those that are cutting off your friends because you all were in the streets, eh? <laughs> well, now you Sabi, it's your opinion. Um, and in my opinion, it's, a, it's actually a, a good reason to cut off a friend because you don't want to get tempted to go back to the things you've moved on from. <laughs> now, guys, my final opinion or my final reason for which married women ditch their single friends or stop talking to their single friends after marriage, it doesn't have to be bad all the time. <laughs> this reason I can actually relate with is life happened yes life happened you're married now um you've probably even moved from where you used to live before or you now have kids see it's not easy it's not going to be easy in fact let me even put let me let me put myself on the spot you can't call me right now and say oh it will come let's hang out here the first thing that comes to my mind is my baby Probably you want us to go to an adult um, relaxation spot. You want us to go chill, you know. I'll think of my baby. How convenient is it for me to go out with her? Um, and then, then, secondly, I'm always tired. Yes, I'm exhausted. Before I, you know, see, for me to even pull myself together to look like this, it took a lot. <laughs> it, took, it took a lot from me to put my baby to sleep, of which I think she's awake right now. <laughs> Yeah, guys, she's awake, so I need to hurry up. So, yeah, life happens, and you find out that married men can no longer catch up with their single friends. But this is not an excuse to ditch your friends. Communication is important. Yes, you can communicate with them. Let them know the challenges you're facing so that they know how to help out. I don't know if, I don't, I don't know if this makes any sense. So please communicate with your single friends. It's not only in marriage or in relationship when you are dating that communication is important. <laughs> Hi. She's just looking at me. She's like, my mommy has started again. Talking, talking, talking. <laughs> communicate with your single friends. Let them know that you can't make it or this is why you've not been able to catch up. Because you find out that there are some days you are not even able to catch up on social media. You don't know what is going on online. You're just busy and um, being a mom, being a wife. So please, married women, we can do better. Communicate with your friends. Let them know. And please, for the single ones out there, don't just conclude that, oh, when your married friend gives you some distance that she, she now hates you or she's now beginning to think she's better than you or she's giving you attitude. Please, check up on, the, on your friends. Some of them are going through it. Like, they're going through some serious challenges. And, mm, sorry, we have to remain put together <laughs> so them are going through serious challenges in their marriage so them are even having difficult marriages um they are going through abuse they are going through domestic violence and so because of that they don't know how to tell you that i'm going through this hardship so they just um go go and be on their on their own they be by themselves so please if you have any married friend that you've not heard on for a while and you've assumed that, oh, this person doesn't want me again. Please call your friend. Check up on them. Some of them, <laughs> they are really, really going through it. So, guys, um, I really hope I did justice to this topic. If there's any reason I left out, please let me know in the comment section. Let's be interactive, okay? Let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Um, do you think um, I spoke well? Do you think my reasons are legit? Or do you have a contrary opinion? Please do well to let me know. 
and please guys um um please subscribe very important subscribe to the channel you guys are watching but you've not subscribed you can see that our channel is gradually moving to the permanent site so please guys share this video give it a thumbs up and let's let's let me i want to i'm really curious to know your opinions on this matter <laughs> so till i come your way again in another video bye guys